I felt absolutely sick. All right. Whoa! I'm out of here. Uh, we heard like a big sort of scraping noise that then sort of turned into a noise like thunder and we thought, oh, hang on a sec, that's just not right. And then we looked out the window and um, started to see a big plume of black, dark smoke bellow into the air and li literally from there on in, um, it was just an absolute inferno. Things started to explode and there was 50 foot flames um, going, going straight up into the air. Um, I sort of looked at my wife and and she sort of said, oh, maybe we should we should help. So I ran across the road with um, a couple of the other other guys, the neighbouring guys that were doing some gardening, and we ran out the back of the of the neighbouring property across the road, which backs onto Monaval Road. And it, it was an absolute inferno. It was at least 100 metres long. The flames were at least 50 feet tall. And I mean, literally, I've never felt so helpless in my life. There was, there was no way that anybody could have even got close. To, to that and we were looking at an up to the bottom of an upturned truck with 50 foot of flame coming out the back of it and, and there was a lot of explosions going on we sort of the guys that I was with sort of looked at each other and thought okay we're going to go and go and do something we didn't really need to speak any words but it was just no it's going to explode um, it's going to keep exploding and there, was, there was just no chance but we were kind of I guess dumbfounded in, in, in the fact that really if, if you're going to get close to it you the, the risk of losing your life was, was just so so big and there was also a, a shell of a car um, down the road that had already been totally gutted and, and, and literally it would have only been on, on fire for not even 45 seconds by the time we'd gotten there. Um, it, was, it was pretty intense.